Beautiful yeah. ball, big shout, he's gone. First wicket falls. Simon O'Donnell getting the edge. A great breakthrough. Terrific delivery from Simon O'Donnell. And he's uh, committed to play. Just left him off the wicket, just enough. And the faintest of faint nicks. And by McConnell took a little while to put up his finger, and Simon O'Donnell is delighted. So that's the end of Ramiz Raja for one, and Australia strike. Pakistan one for two. Salim Malik makes his way to the crease. straight back to the ball or a sensational start at the Melbourne Cricket Ground in the first final. And he's very strong on his pad, Saeed Anwar. has worked the ball brilliantly, not only along the ground but in the air. This time, I've got a feeling he might have just got a little leading edge trying to get the ball around. Perhaps it stopped on him a little bit and it popped back to Terry Alderman and he doesn't drop down. Gavin Mandad Sawi makes his way to the centre. Pakistan in trouble in the early overs. Two for eight. He's gone. He's dropped. Well, that went straight to slip. Jarvid Mandad trying to glide. Terry Alderman drops the sitter. Well, I don't think Terry can believe that. He's desperately disappointed with himself. They don't come that much easier. He almost went underneath it. I think what did him then was a lack of pace. Really a regulation out. It is such a thing in first class cricket. Didn't really get hold of it at all and Jarvid gets off the mark in dramatic fashion. That's a good shot. Fine pull shot. Salim getting well inside the line and whipping it away for four. An eventful over so far for Simon O'Donnell. Nasty one. Where is it? Oh, just misses off stump. Didn't know where it was, Salim Malik then. He was in all sorts of trouble. Well, this is a nasty delivery. And it's really bounced. And in the end, he trod on the ball and nearly skewed it out onto the stumps. Glorious off drive. The outfield slow. Taylor doesn't get it. Four runs. The end of the over. It's two for 26. That's well hit. When in the air, Terry Alderman grabbed at it, but uh, it was hit so hard that it had gone past him before he could get the hand down. Beautifully struck. Difficulty here is the pace of the ball off the bat. Alderman had to get down around about the ankles. Shot again from Salim Malik. He's certainly picking off anything that's loose. Tom Moody just not quite able to drag that one back. So six fours to Salim Malik. It's a beautiful shot. He's confident, buoyed now by finding the middle. A couple of nice off drives prior to this one. There's a mind hitting it in the air. That's a pretty ambitious shout. And uh, I think the reason why Salim copped that blast was because he looked at his bat. But it was a very ambitious shout. Carl Rackerman comes on at the members' end. He replaces Simon O'Donnell. Edged and taken by Healy. So immediate success for Carl Rackerman. A wicket with his first ball. Well, both Campbell and Carl Rackerman will have watched in interest. 
A man that bowls the best leg cutters in the country at the moment has had tremendous effect here. What a great first delivery. Well, look at that. Healy taking the easiest of catches. So the third wicket now go down. The Australians really starting to push home that advantage of winning the toss. So me and Dad out for two from 26 deliveries, a long stay. Three for 46 at the MCG. Imran Khan strides to the crease. Can't say it was a warm welcome that he received from the Melbourne uh, crowd. Good afternoon, Imran. And quite a sickening welcome. Carl Rackerman always was going to get the extra bounce a little bit of extra pace the sun shining fairly brightly here at the MCG we started off the day with very much cloud cover Greg Campbell that faces Terry Alderman well, the skipper is off the mark I don't think the uh, Australians would mind this sun being out. This pitch has got a lot of moisture in it. And the more the sun beats down them, the more it will dry out. And they've got a bat on it tonight. Beautifully bold. That was a big leg cutter. The thing that is going to come against Pakistan will be if they can't get enough runs to put pressure on the Australian batsman on this pitch. But that's well bowled by Rackerman. Just doing enough and the ball dying a little bit on Ian Healy, but no mistakes at all from him. His third catch. The fourth Pakistan wicket is down, that of the skipper for for one, just one of 24 deliveries. And Pakistan now four for 50. The new man at the crease replacing Imran Khan is Ijaz Ahmed. Beautiful over. And Carl Rackerman. And the wicket they really wanted was that of the Pakistan captain. Imran really did nothing wrong there. Played it defensively. The ball got up a bit and uh, moved away off the seam. There's not much more he could have done in playing that defensively. Healy the catcher and uh, another breakthrough for Australia. Four for 50. And Rackerman is fairly steaming in there today from this member's end. Unbelievable figures. Four overs, four maidens, two for none. And that's gone too. Greg Campbell has struck Terry Alderman, has hung on to the catch that's flown to his left, and Salim Malik is on his way for a very well made 39. Played very well, Salim Malik, played some lovely shots. Campbell has bowled well at him. Nicely taken. Drop one earlier, Terry Alderman. He has a lovely pair of hands in slips. And uh, just reward there for Greg Campbell. Now it's 5 for 50. Was Macram. He has a groin injury. Wouldn't imagine he'd be running too hard between the wickets. Edge immediately and fielded by Terry Alderman. The last man out, Salim Malik. Very well caught at first slip by Terry Alderman. And Salim Malik responsible for most of those peaks you can see there. The delivery was that off the pad. I think it maybe was the bat or an inside edge. I think it, watch umpire Peter McConnell. 
it was a catch. Yes, I think there was a big thick edge there. Definitely the big leg cut up. Wrap the fingers over the seam and right over the top of the seam. The left hander searching for that. It deviated that much. A gap between bat and pad. Look at this. Comes back into the pads. A magnificent delivery. Healy got across. In fact, he perhaps should have caught that, having got there that well. It's well struck. That's going down towards mid-off. Simon O'Donnell gives chase. That's the way Wazamekra must play. He's a glorious striker of the ball. And that breaks the shackles for Pakistan. It's been a long, hard period for them. Glorious off-drive. That's for the sunshine just uh, taking a little bit of dampness off this wicket. Enabling Wazamakran to hit through the ball. The doubt in the minds of the batsmen here with the ball moving so much sideways. Not easy to hit with confidence if the ball's not right in the half volley. It's gone again. Big hit. Great shot. So outfield it may hold up. Wazamakran taking his time between the wickets. Injured groin. Picks up three more. Campbell wouldn't have expected this sort of assault considering the way he's been bowling I think Akram may have made up his decision to go after that one before the ball was actually bowled chance to get the stumps oh wasn't Akram just home and he's struggling he's in pain he really is struggling with that groin injury Yes, Bill, there was some talk that he may not even take his place in this side today. But I think when you consider the state of the wicket, world's fastest bowler, or very nearly. Look at him there. So that doesn't all go well for a left-hand fast bowler when he gets his chance to bowl. Only a little pace by the batsman there, and O'Donnell claims another wicket. Six for 77, Pakistan. The innings in tatters. Simon O'Donnell had a few shouts for LBW early in the innings. And uh, a big shout from him on that occasion. And Ejaz has given out LBW. Pakistan, six for 77. He's in at number eight. I'm sure Wazamakran will go for Peter Taylor. Well, that almost cleaned him up. Oh, super save down there. That's a great piece of work from Jones. Almost collected Peter Taylor, the bowler, was hit with tremendous power. Wasim Akram was on the charge. Peter Taylor saw him coming and attempted to fire in a Yorker. I don't think Peter Taylor picked that one up out of the background. Sure he didn't see it. That's a good shot. No chance of Jones getting that. Once again, he was on the charge. Peter Taylor trying, I think, to jam it up there in the block hole. But, uh, he wasn't able to do it. <laughs> Neatly caught there. Always difficult, those catches. Slicing away off the outside edge, and the fielder has to come forward. But it was very well taken by Alderman, just behind point. Now seven down, and just 96 on the board. He's actually opened the face up there, trying to slice that one away through the covers, which is not a recommended way to play when the ball is turning quite a bit. It's now seven for 96. 
Tosi Palmer is the new batsman. Carl Rackman about to come back into the attack. And it'll be interesting to see whether Carl Rackman can go for less than nine. Not out. Very close, but not out. Good throw from Greg Campbell. And they threw it to the right end. And we saw a huge throw from Tom Moody at the Gabba. Fast bowler on the end of this one. Greg Campbell at Tasmania. That's a beautiful throw. And in the finish, I would imagine a lot of pain endured by Waza Makram, who comes into this game after a bit of a rest. Groin problem. This is where he's got to decide, do I really stretch to the limit? Well, he won't beat Mick Malone's figures because that hit has just ruined it. Rackman moves into double figures. He's now gone for 13 with that massive six from Wozniakron. And somewhere in amongst a mixture of thoughts will be the thought that maybe I should have come back from the members' end where I bowled the first spell. I bowled it so well. Now he's coming from the outer end and he's gone back into the outer at a million miles an hour. That's a big six, almost 100 metres. There he goes again. This time it won't go for six. But it goes for four. That's his 50, his highest score in one day internationals now. Surpassing his 48 against India at Nagpur in 86-87. Not a bad cricketer, this bloke. That's high in the air and into the gap. And now into the fence after a, a good effort by Dean Jones to initially grab the ball in his left hand. The weight of his body on the ground forced it out. And it's trickled into the fence. That is a good shot against a man so quick down on one knee. And what a wholehearted cricketer Jones is. Many other players would have just let that one trickle into the fence. Good shot by Torsi. Handy runs. Three, they all count now in these final overs. Umpire uh, McConnell there signalling one short. He's a very courageous cricketer, Torsi. This could be where the one short is. Oh. In fact, if that was, in fact, there wasn't a one short there. Was he, Macram actually got over the line? Get that run right up to. 3.5, 3.6 would be a good match. Oh, there's another big one. There's a man out there. He's getting under it, but it's gone. Way over. It's a big one. It's another six. A glorious hit. Well, Carl Rackerman was going back there. He went back to the fence, which was the right thing to do. Get back to the fence, first of all. And then see if you've got a chance, if maybe if you've got to come back in a pace or two. But no, it was over the fence. Great shot. That could be out. They'll get, they'll get the strike. That's out. Torsey trying to hit down the ground. I'm not sure why. The break of concentration. Peter Taylor takes the catch. Another wicket for Campbell. Just at the right time for Alan Board and his team. I think Torsi a little carried away by the fact that the field was up and thought, well, I might be able to sneak a four here while they're all up. But uh, he hasn't got the power and he mistimed that one, the ball coming off the spice. But he's done his job for Pakistan. And a great job. He only got ten, but uh, they batted over... Well, they're eight for 153, having added a good partnership. Racker Yunus, new batsman. Wasa Macklin has a strike. It's gone again, and he places it beautifully. It's going over, over she goes. Another one. What a cricketer. What a striker of the ball. That's his third six, and uh, they've all gone to the long boundaries, certainly two of them. The one that he hit straight was a fairly, well, they're all pretty long boundaries here at the MCG, but that's an 
extremely long boundary and he's cleared it easily. Was an Ekman on 86. He chips it in, could be gone. Man coming in quickly, he's under it. He's got him. Yeah, second grab by Peter Taylor. The end of a magnificent knock for Was an Ekman. He knocks himself on the head and says, Why did I do that? But you can't do any more than score 86 when you come to the crease at 5 for 50. Good catch there by Peter Taylor. He had to come in a long way. Just juggled it. But uh, grabbed it in the end. End of a magnificent innings from Wazi Makram. A standing ovation from a big crowd. That's nine for 159. Nadim Guri comes to the crease. Conditions favouring the bowlers. Charge and it's up in the air. He's getting back, Jones. You'll get this. He's a fine outfielder. He drops it. He got there and lost it and put it down. It's all happening at the MCG. That is quite amazing because Dean Jones is normally a very good outfielder, very safe catcher, and he did the hard work. He got there easily and lost it when he tried to grab it at the second attempt. Went about it the right way, charged back to get into position. Black is gone, clean ball by Terry Alderman. Well, that's a bad, bad misfield. Anwar is the fieldsman, or is it Ejaz? Ejaz. And he is usually the safest of all. They can't afford to do that. And he knows he's made a bad blue. And every run vital here. Can't afford misfields. Big difference between these two sides. The Australians field so well on the ground. They catch well. Was Macram to Tom Moody. A big drive from Moody. Not very well taken by Salim Yusuf. But I venture to say, had he nicked it, he would have caught it. Oh, no! He nicked that one and he did catch it. Incredible. He doesn't drop many, and that's a bad shot from Tom Meadie. He won't be pleased with that. He didn't learn from the previous delivery. Just enough movement here to get the edge. Moody all away from the body. Good catch in the finish, so was a Akram. First blood to Pakistan. So Moody's out for four. Australia one for nine. Dean Jones. Dropped. Javid is the man. Akali would have been a screamer, but he couldn't hang on to it. Mark Taylor loves to cut. Backed himself for a boundary on this shot. The angle was wide enough. He hit it very well. Jarvid. That was going like a bullet. So a bit of half line here at the MCG. The offside in shade, the onside in full sunlight. There's the full shot. And he's got a wide of mid on. Only just. He'll only get two. Bokar Yunus doing the fielding and a beautiful return. Australia one for 19. Played that pull shot extremely well. Realising that the man is out deep at square leg. He's hit it pretty straight. Three to Mark Taylor. Australia one for 23, in fact, because umpire McConnell was signalling one short.
Mark Taylor on 13. Dean Jones on five. Ozzy Macram being relieved at the outer end. And it's going to be Waka Yunus to come from that end. And well taken there by Salim Yusuf. That's a good catch. His second one in the innings. And a pretty important one because it gets rid of Mark Taylor. And what a beautiful delivery. The ball cutting off the seam. He's got the yard extra pace. And Waka Yunus hits the seam and it went away. Taylor had to play it. Fits middle enough. And there's the catch and a vital wicket. Waka Yunus picks up the fine wicket of Mark Taylor. Out for 13 of 38 deliveries. It's two for 23. It's Steve Waugh who's really been struggling for his best form and he's been sent in at four by Alan Border. And he slashes that one over point. Torsif has a long chase. And they'll get three. I'll tell you what, uh, it's put brought together a very good combination of runners. That's one big advantage and, and perhaps that's why Alan Border has dropped himself down the line so that War can come in and run with Dean Jones. And try and lift the run rate. Well, that was a nervous start, wasn't it? He really went after that one. He hit it with plenty of meat on it. And it is to be spin at the uh, member's end, Nadim Guri. Once he lets him get on the back foot, that's what will happen. Very strong player off the back foot, Steve War. Superb shot hitting with the spin. Guri dropping short. First ball off the bat by the Australians. Bad ball, great shot. And the gap put it right off the middle. Always going to be full. Was there just the hint of a slip at uh, the non-striker's end there? The throw was good. And so was the running. It looked as though he made up his mind. There was two straight away. No, no slip. Really motoring. He didn't play that one so well. That was a great delivery from Wazim Akram. The in-swinging Yorker hitting the base of the leg stump. You cannot have uh, much closer to perfection than that. Good tactics going around the wicket. A couple away from him. Then two bending back in and that one went a long way. Turns charge and he does the job. Fine shot, border goes down, but that's four all the way. Charged at the young fastball, hit him on the up. Great shot. Dean Jones making his mind up to break the shackles. And nearly broke the captain's head. Well struck, off to on drive, I suppose, hit the court, he certainly went at him. <laughs> That's pathetic. Gurry not making any real effort to stop that. Well, I think you've uh, overpraised that effort. I don't think it's that good. That, I mean, you should get a fair dinkum kick in the backside from your captain for doing that. That is disgraceful. Water on strike. Good shot. Splits the gap there. Square leg. Jones is a race to get three. Uh, chipping away at this target now. Doing a bit of a roll here. 
94 runs for victory at 4.02 runs per over but still seven wickets in hand oh that's the break you need it's going to go away for four it just went wide the first slip and never even moved certainly wasn't a catch but Wacker you know, is finding the edge and good piece of bowling just leaving Alan Border and Alan has a bit of a fiddle at that one in the end it was perfectly placed but uh, he wouldn't be happy with the shot he played but he'd be very happy with the result Tor Seafi right arm off spinner it's brought into the attack it's a bad ball and it gets a treatment Beautifully played by Dean Jones. He waited on that. The wicket, the pitch is not quick at all. It just sat up and looked at him and he found the gap. And that was the important thing. He had to find the gap. And did it well. Got that sweet find. Torsif is at uh, deep backward square and they might get a bonus run here for the misfield. They do. Don't think uh, Torsif is going to be all that keen for any eye contact with the skipper. Yeah, me. Imran is coming back on at the southern end. to get on leg stump oh that hits Jones I think was in bother but it didn't hit There's no one I know is faster between the wickets than uh, Dean Jones but even that was uh, very risky three men inside the circle on the offside only one on the onside can't afford the bowl there as Jones brings up his 50 and he doesn't risk a second on this occasion. Run from the southern end and I believe it must be a pace bowler from the members end next over. Good placement again from Border. cleverly played and well run it's a good attempt very good attempt from Ramiz Raja, the direct hit. But Alan Border was home. Wasm Akram has two overs remaining. There are ten overs remaining in the match. They need to score at four and over. And... I would venture to say, unless Osam Akram picks up about three wickets, Pakistan can't win. Well, it's not the best batting, but it's pretty good running. And an all-important figure of seven wickets in hand. Not a pretty shot. One of the better ones that Dean Jones has played in a magnificent career. But they put two runs uh, in the scorebook. Two up on the scoreboard. And draw shot. Ball. Well, I reckon D 
Dean Jones heard that no ball call. It was a slower delivery. And they pick up a couple of runs. We often hear the, the no ball rule being criticised on the front foot. Quite rightly so when you've got someone that bowling really express. Not exactly express that one, but change the eye level from the front foot, then look up and see what's happening. Thirty-two runs. Lovely straight drive. That's the best shot Dean Jones has played tonight. Glorious shot for four runs. Australia three for 135 after 41. Get, get. Ooh, he's hit that very well indeed. And I don't think was Macron saw that at all. There was a shout of catch it, but you can't catch what you can't see. Well, a crowd here, 50 to 55,000 come to their feet. And the Aussie captain. 16 runs required, 15 runs required. Of 43 deliveries with seven wickets in hand. It's uh, an excellent performance. They did have the better of the pitch, the Australians. It seemed about early. Piece of fielding off his own bowling by Wasn Akram. Three for 148. And Jones won't bother coming back. Whoa! How to kill the wicket keeper. <laughs> That's what that was. Wow. A quick lesson in how to kill the wicket keeper. <laughs> I'd go down there and have a word to him. You no, have to. No, you wouldn't. Because yes, it's, you would. That's Wasm Akram. It's your favourite. It's my anything. favourite, but your favourites can still get rockets. That is ridiculous. He's an angry young man, Wasm Akram. hasn't gone his way. He's bowled superbly again tonight. He's just a little bit frustrated. He fires a bad throw. Yusuf knocks it down. There's not one there. Well, Dean Jones is full confidence. He must be seeing the ball so early. His feet are moving beautifully. He always does play off spin with an enormous amount of confidence. Tonight he's been in good touch all around the wicket. He's tried to hit it over the top and succeeded. Great shot, Dean Jones. That's a great shot. 55,000 Victorian stand and a forward plus one New South Welshman. The Australian captain, magnificent stroke. Great value for money, Dean Jones. A wonderful entertainer. Bang. He hit it high and he hit it hard. And he's got it over. I think Dino wants to hit the winning runs. Well, he's moved to 82, border on 43. This has been a wonderful partnership. 107 run partnership. You can't do any more than that under pressure when they were three for 54. This could be it. If Alan Border decides to come back, he doesn't. It's all tied up in Melbourne. It's all tied up in Melbourne, and Alan Border has better beautiful here tonight. He's really struggled of late, but tonight he's placed the ball beautifully. A lot of singles early on. He's made room against the off spin of Torsi. He's hard through the offside. Border on 43, Jones on 82, scores a level. Listen to that crowd, 55,250 Victorians enjoying every minute of this first final at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. They love it, they're a great crowd, they love this sport. Border, Border. Jones punches there. Alan Border a little more sedate. 